So thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Um, so the first thing was I wanted to be clear that all three of us are aware that this session is being recorded. Um, so if you, each of you could verbalize your agreement, that would be fabulous. I consent. I consent. And I consent as well. Um, so what we are going to do this morning is what's called a parent-child dialogue. Um, and just like we did the legal disclaimer, so a disclaimer about this dialogue is all three of us are parents. Um, this is not about parent shaming or parent blaming. This is about our felt experience. And as parents, we know that we cannot be perfect. Um, some of our children may experience that we're giving them too much attention, we're not giving them enough attention. And as parents, we do our best. And so again, the focus of this dialogue is your felt experience. Um, are you needing to pause it for a moment? I, no, okay, all right. So uh, with that, we're going to do as we always do, which is to start with a brief meditation to really calm your body and to get yourself ready to talk about something that may be a little bit difficult. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and try to breathe in and out of your nose. Breathing in and breathing out. Really trying to come into this moment right here, right now, knowing that we're just going to take a few moments just to try to get in touch with your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And maybe noticing if this is uncomfortable or comfortable. It may be easier today, or it may be a little bit more difficult. And doing your best to try to breathe as slowly and as deeply as you can. Breathing in and breathing out. And while you're breathing, I want you to try to come into an appreciation for each other. So it could be something little, could be something big, could be from a long time ago, it could be from today. So one thing I appreciate about you as my partner. Um, so really trying to get into your touch with your breath, breathing in and breathing out. So again, thinking of one thing that I appreciate about you as my partner as my spouse, as my husband, as my wife. One thing that I appreciate about you. And just taking a few moments to breathe that in and out. And when that is easy for you to verbalize, just gently open your eyes, signaling that you're ready, taking all the time that you need. Breathing in and breathing out. One thing I appreciate about you as my partner. And when you're ready, just signal by gently opening your eyes. So I think I'm seeing our both of your eyes open. So Igor, maybe since you're going first with the parent-child dialogue, or uh, maybe let's have Leora share, is that okay? Okay. So Leora, I'd like you to make an appointment. I'd like you to say, I'd like to dialogue with you about an appreciation I have for you. Is now a good time? I'd like to dialogue with you about an appreciation I have for you. Is now a good time? So Leora, you have such a beautiful, gentle voice. I'm gonna ask you to speak a little bit louder, if that's okay. Um, what I appreciate about you is that, um, is that you don't get upset at me for staying up late at night. What I'm hearing you say is that you appreciate, what you appreciate about me is that I didn't get upset at you. I don't get upset at you when you stay up late. Did I get that? Yes. Is there more? Yes, I don't, I don't feel like you're being judgment, judgmental or judging me about um, not being practical. So can you also put that in the positive maybe that I feel accepted 
by you that I feel if you could tweak that a little. Accepted by me even when I'm not doing smart things or when I'm not being practical. You feel what I'm hearing you say is that you feel accepted by me even when you're doing something that's not practical or smart by standing Did I get that? Is there more? And so what I really feel when you're okay okay with me choosing to be you know practical or impractical what i really feel is what i really feel is um unconditional love with my uh, for me with my flaws with my challenges with my challenges so you feel for me unconditional love um, even with your flaws and your challenges did I get that? Yes. Is there more? No. Not, not for now. Thank you. So now, Igor, I'm going to ask you to share and appreciate, make an appointment to share a dialogue with Leora. I have an appointment for you, is now the time? Yes. So one thing I appreciate about you. Well, one thing I appreciate about you is, um, there are times when I get like frustrated or upset with our children and it makes it hard for me to make decisions in the moment. And many times you you stay calm in those moments and it, um, it makes me feel safe and I'm able to uh, kind of come back to a, a more relaxed mindset. Mm -hmm. So that I could also be a good parent. So I'm asking you to pause, speak loudly, or right, go ahead. Sometimes when you get upset at, the, at our children, you appreciate that I stay, I stay in a calm place, and it helps you feel safe, so you can kind of come back to being like um, having a relaxed mind being a good parent. Did I get you? Yes. There more? Um, that's it and maybe if this fits, that feeling of safety feels really, really good. It feels very, if that fits. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I feel soothed when I see you come while I'm having a hard time with them, and um, it, it, it feels nice that you create you create this safe safe space for me. So it feels very safe and a good soothing feeling when I stay calm. Did I get you? Did I get you? Yes. yes, you got me. So we won't ask if there's more for now. Thank you. Thank you for those beautiful appreciations. So now we're going to head into this parent-child dialogue and Igor, I'm going to ask you to start. So um, are, we ch are you choosing to speak to your mom or to your dad? My dad. Your dad, okay. Um, and so again, I just want to remind you, this is about your felt experience. This isn't about you know, something right or wrong. Um, maybe just close your eyes and think for a few moments of an age, um, an early memory that you have. Uh, what did you call your dad as a child? Papa. Papa. Papa, okay, all right. And what age would you choose this memory at um, of, you know, a, a struggle or a pain that you might have had, um, a moment that was difficult for you? How old would you have been, maybe? Six or seven years old. Six or seven years old, okay. And do you remember what your hair looked like? Was it short? Was it long? Do you remember your clothes? Did you have to wear long sleeve shirts? Um, can you just give a little description of a picture that you might remember of yourself when you were six and seven, just to really try to get back to that place? So I might have been wearing 
we, we had school uniform, so usually it was pants and a long sleeve shirt. Mm -hmm. And it was comfortable, it was uncomfortable, it was itchy, it was... Um, no, I never... Uh, <laughs> okay. And, and, but you remember this uniform, you remember the colors, you remember what it looked like. Yeah, it yeah. was like this, uh, I'm not sure the color is, it's like a mixture of brown and green. Yes. And this was in the Soviet Union, I'm assuming, yes? Yes. Okay. And so you're six or seven years old and you're sitting with Papa. Um, and so I'm going to ask you to try to stay with that feeling as a young child. And Leora, you're going to be his Papa. So um, I know you have the script in front of you. Um, and Leora, so Igor, if you can open your eyes. Um, and Leora, you're going to say, I'm your Papa. What is it like living with me? I am your papa. Um, what is it like living with you? So living with you, papa, is... Living with you is scary. So mirror that, papa. Living with me is scary. Did I get you? Did I get you? Yes. Is there more? More. And what's scary about living with you, papa, is... You're, you're harsh in how you speak with me and how you discipline me if I do something wrong. I'm harsh with you when you, with how I speak with you and, and how I discipline you when you do something wrong. Did I get you? Did I get you? Yes. And again, trying to be that six or seven year old boy using language that you might have used as a little boy. Um, so ask Leora, is there more about what's scary about living with me? Is there more about what's scary about living with me? Um, I feel like you give very little love and, and support and share with me positive emotions and most of the time not all the time, you're either distant or when you interact with me, you interact only when it comes to disciplining me and telling me how I'm doing something wrong. So, um, um, I'm, I'm, you're saying that I'm mostly, um, with you, I mostly have negative interactions with you, and um, 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 if all the interactions or most are are me disciplining you or or telling you what you're doing wrong, and there's no um, there's no love and support or positive. Emotions expressed. Am I getting you? Am I getting you? Yes. And what is your deepest hurt with me? Papa asked for him. What is your deepest hurt with me? That you, that you never, um, speak to me or, or treat me in a way that um, made me believe that I can do great things in life. Your deepest hurt with me is that I never spoke to you or dealt with you in a way um, that showed you that I believe in you and that you can do great things. Am I getting you? Yes. And what really hurts about that is What's hurtful to me about that is um, I, I believe that everyone has. Just a little boy, I felt when you didn't believe that I could do great things, I felt. I felt uh, like a failure. I felt I'll never do anything. I'm never going to be able to please you. Uh, I'm never going to do something that's going to be good enough for you. 
what 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 hurt so bad is is you felt like you could never please me and you could never do something good enough as a boy. Did I get you? Yes. And so, Papa, when I hurt you this way, how, what did you do? When I hurt you this way, what did you do? I, I didn't really do anything, but in my mind, I, um, I imagined if I was not part of this family, I, I wished I, was, I lived somewhere else. So you would, you would imagine that if you're not part of this family in your mind and you wish you lived somewhere else. Yes. Is there more? Is there more? Uh, I wish I loved you. And you wish I loved you. And I wish you spent more um, positive time with me. And you wish I spent more positive times with you. Yes. Is there more? So what it would look like if what I was really needing from you, Papa, was what I got uh, from you was encouragement and support. Um, so what, what you needed from me was encouragement and support. Did I get you? Yes. More? Is there more? And what that might have sounded like as a six or seven year old boy was... sports with me can you help me study for a test so I can do so I can do well in school. So what what that would have looked like is is if I would have studied with you for a test so you could do well or played with you. Did I get you? Sports with you. Did I get you? Yeah. Is there more? So, Papa, I want you to say, I understand that you feel. I understand that you feel. Um, criticized and unloved. And that you are needing me to. That you are needing me to support encourage you, play with you, be and, um, Given that you experienced me as... Given that you experienced me as distant and critical. Say, so am I getting you? Getting you? Yes. <clears throat> ask if there's more you'd like to add. Papa, ask if there's more that you'd like to add. If there's more that you'd like to add? I wish you were when I needed you. You wish I was there for you more when you, need, when you needed me. Am I getting you? Yeah. I don't know if this fits, but to say, Igor, you can do this. You're going to be great. You're going to be awesome. What what might that? What are the words you would have loved to have heard from your papa when you were a little boy? Don't let what other people say affect you. You know, you, you can do it. You can do it. Whatever, whatever it is that I'm pursuing, um, just the words of encouragement. So words of encouragement, like, like you can, you can do it. <clears throat> I believe. 
believe I believe in you that you can accomplish whatever you're pursuing and don't um, don't worry about what other people think about you because I believe in you. Am I, am I, am I getting you? Yes. Okay. Yes, we're getting. So, Papa, you're going to de-roll and say, "I'm no, I'm no longer your Papa." I'm no longer your Papa. And Igor, you're going to say, "I'm no longer your child. I'm your partner." I'm no longer your child. No, 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 no. So, Leora, as your partner, I can understand that you felt. As your partner, I I can understand that you felt unsupported, criticized, unloved. And, and that you were really needing. That you were really needing um, encouragement, um, your father's presence and uh, playing with you, um, being involved in your day-to-day -day life in, in positive ways. Um, and I, can, and I can imagine that as a child you felt. I can imagine as a child that you felt um, criticized unjustly and, and unloved and that you just you were never good enough. So is that what you felt? Is that what you felt? Yes. So Igor, own what you did. I did feel. Yes criticized and not supported. I, I often felt like I was not good enough and I could never please him. You felt like you could never please him? That was not, nothing I did was ever good enough in his eyes. Nothing that you did was ever good enough in his eyes. Ask, are there more feelings? Are there more feelings you want to share more about? You can say not for now, if not. But so I, I wonder now, now as an adult, that that many times I'm seeking your um, affirmations as my spouse, mm -hmm. my partner, because um, because I'm I carried into my my adult life those. Um, the, the, I guess the scars or the pain of mm -hmm. what I didn't get from my father. So, so I'll have moments where I'm, I'm doubting my abilities or I question um, if I could succeed in, in the project that I want to do. Um, and I'm wondering if the reason I have those feelings and thoughts is because of um, what happened to me when I was Mm -hmm. so, so, so you're finding that what, what, um, what, what, what you want and what you need from me is um, you have these, you have a need that, um, for affirmation um, about, about me believing in you and about me believing your abilities to, to accomplish um, <coughs> dreams or, or, or um, project that you want to accomplish, and you're finding that you you want affirmations, and you and you're wondering if it's because of of the lack of of, of having that kind of support and encouragement for, from your childhood. Am I getting you? Yes. And so, what some of those affirmations may sound like words that would feel really energizing for you that would address this feeling of inadequacy in childhood. What that might sound like coming from Leora is. If you tell me, if I'm doing something uh, or I tell you that I want to do something and then you tell me something like, um, it's so exciting that you're let's say either giving your all or um, I'm so happy for you that you're pursuing whatever it is I'm doing. Um, it, it, it gives me like these feelings of 
I can I believe I can believe in myself and I can pursue whatever it is that I'm that I'm doing. It gives me like a boost of, uh, mm -hmm. of confidence. So, what the affirmations look like are. Um, I'm so, I'm so happy you're, you're pursuing this whatever dream. Could you resend um, the uh, first affirmation that you were saying? If you tell me um, things like I am, um, like I, I see you're doing this project, I'm really happy for you, or like that's very exciting, like go for it. If you say things like that, like in words of encouragement, um, I think it soothes, soothes in me some of that childhood mm -hmm. wound. Um, and I, so pause so that she can marry you. Go ahead. Yep. Well, if I tell you, I, I see you doing this project and I'm so happy for you. I'm so excited about it with you and for you. Um, those, those, kinds of, those kinds of affirmations um, to fill like the need and um, the lack that you have from your childhood. Am I, am I getting you? Yes. You, is there that, more? Is there more? Yes. So I, um, so I want you to know that you shouldn't take for granted um, that it's not just um, like you know, like okay, oh, if I you know if something happens, then I'll I'll try to think of. Uh, of, you know, words of affirmation. I want you to know that um, whenever you do it, it's it's a, it's a great. Um, it's, it feels it's, monumental. It, feel, it feels very special to me, and um, it really gives me a big boost to continue pushing myself and pursuing, you know, whatever whatever I want to work on. So. Um, what you're saying is, is that I shouldn't take for granted the power of, of my words of encouragement and it really gives you um, like the desire and the strength to like um, accomplish what you what you want to accomplish and and um, and um, work in like the projects and dreams that you have. Am I getting you? Yes. Is there more? Yes. And I want you to know that um, in, instead of, um, like now that we discussed this, I want you to know that instead of um, like needing to wonder, well, what, like, let's say what, maybe what gifts are going to make me happy or what presents, um, you know, if you want to get from me on occasions, I want you to know that one of the one of the biggest presents I can get from you is um, words of encouragement. So you want me to know that if I ever want to, uh, I remember wondering what kind of gifts to buy you, or uh, I should know that something very dear to you and special to you is these words of encouragement, words of affirmation. Am I, am I getting you? Yes, but what I also want you to get is, um, if you don't mind, this is the, This is the this this is the best gift you can give me. So you want me to know that this is the best gift that I could give you. Yes. These words of encouragement. Yes. Is there more? Is there more? I don't want you to think that there is. I don't want you to think that um, now. You know, every day you have to follow me around and you have to keep telling me something, like good that I'm doing. But what I'm saying is that I just want you to be aware that. But that's where I need you the most. And if you want to do something for me, this is where I want you to give to me more than other ways that you give. Do you want me to know that, that, um, that this, is, this is where you need me the most and how powerful my words will or could be? Not that not that you want me to follow you around and saying nice things, but just I should know that this is really where you need me the most, and and, and how helpful and powerful, um, like um, positive 
affirmations from you will be true for you. Am I getting you? Yes, but what I also want you to get and? and what I want you to get is that if you have moments when you think about what you want to give to me, I'm telling you now that this is where uh, this is what I would appreciate if you gave in this way, which is in, in giving me encouragement. And so, mirror that one more time. Go ahead. What you wanted to know is that if I'm wondering what I can give to you, um, if I'm ever wondering what nice things can I do for you, this is what you would like. You would like words of encouragement. Am I getting you? Yes. Is there more? Is there more? That's all for now. So I wonder, given that you guys just spoke about this incredibly powerful gift, if, and part of what I heard you say, Igor, is you don't need her following you around every day and manufacturing, you know, positive affirmations, yet at the same time when she has positive words, that that just is a tremendous gift. Would it be okay for you to take a moment, Leora, to see if there are some positive words of encouragement that you could give him? And if not, it's okay. Um, I just wonder if you have any positive words of encouragement that you could give him now and to see how he reacts to receive that gift if you have that in you. So I want you to be honest with yourself and if, and this is early in the morning for you, so it's really okay if you can't. Um, is, are there, is there a positive word of encouragement that you could find with no pressure at all? Sure. Um, So one, one, th one way that I want to share with you or one word of encouragement that I really feel today in this moment is. I feel, I feel in this moment a lot of the admiration and gratitude and smile um so igor take that in with all of you and mirror that back so what i heard you say is what i'm hearing you say is that you're um you notice that i'm i'm putting all this effort to um put together this project that i wanted to do and then i have to work through all the details and the things that are not necessarily so the most enjoyable parts of the project, but I'm determined to make it happen. Am I getting you? Yeah. Um, what I wanted you to get also is is that um, you're 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 taking all this action to make your um, your project and your dream happen, and and, um, and it's very admirable. Um, I really admire you. I really admire you for following through and um, not procrastinating, not not giving up, just keeping your excitement about it and keep taking steps towards your goals. So you, what I'm hearing you saying that you, you admire you admire about me that I'm following through and I'm I'm, I'm taking the steps necessary to. Continue pursuing the goal that I have. Did, did I get that? And if this fits, Leora, I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you. And you're proud of me. Could you say that really loud, Leora? Because I, I'm just making up a story that he probably didn't hear that so often. So. And I'm really proud of you. Mm. So mirror that Igor. And you're proud of me. 
just allow that to sink in that she's really proud of you and that energy that she emitted and that she's proud of you. So we're coming to the end. So Leora, what are you thinking and feeling after experiencing this session? Should I say well, one more, um, one more <coughs> encouragement? Or if you're that? feeling it, absolutely, sure. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And I feel, I feel so, I want you to know that I feel so grateful to you for all the hard work that you put in every day for, um, over the years to support our family. And I know that we can depend on you. You're, you're so dependable and you make sure we have everything that we need. And you put in all the work that needs to be done. More, You put in more work than needs to be done, more effort than what's expected of you. Of, of a regular person and um, to accomplish your, your goals and to take care of your family. So what I'm hearing you say is that you appreciate um, all the work that I put in and, and all the things that I do to take care of our family. Did I get you? Yeah. Did I get you? Yes, and that I want you to know that I, I noticed um, how how you you go above and beyond in, in putting in effort and work to do what needs to be done to support and take care of your family. And that I go above and beyond in doing the work that I need to take care of my family. Did I get you? Yeah, and um, I'm so grateful for for how committed you are to. Um, and, and, to commit and, and, and how you take responsibility for your family. Be grateful for um, how committed I am and the responsibility that I take for our family. Did, did I get that? Yes. So if this fits, I think you're amazing or wonderful or what? I, I think you're a wonderful um, father and husband and amazing and how you take care of your family. And you're an amazing person for being, for being so, so responsible and for always, always putting in the maximum effort is what you do. So mirror that, please. And you think I'm um, great that I put in maximum effort in, in everything that I do, especially for our family. Yeah. Did I, think, I get that? Yes. I think um, so, think, go ahead. I think, and I think you're amazing. You're an amazing person for having, taking, um, for having these character traits. That makes you an amazing person. So close, Mir. You think I'm an amazing person for having these character traits? Can, can I say something? Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate everything you just shared with me in the last few minutes. And I want you to know that how hard the struggle was for me because the whole time that I was listening to you, um, I was, I'm having such a hard time believing that I am those things. And I see now that a lot of it has to do with what happened to me in my childhood and that I don't feel that I deserve. I want it. I want to be acknowledged and I want to know that you believe in me and appreciate the things I do. And at the same time, I have a hard time accepting the, what you're telling me and believing that I, I really am those things. So I want her to mirror that, Leora, if you can. What I heard you say. Okay, we have to pause for one second. No problem. And, uh, diaper situation. Yeah, so absolutely. No problem at all. Wow. That's very beautiful. And it's amazing because the words that she used 
it was hard for you to mirror those back. You know, like she said, you were amazing and wonderful. I can't, and you I can't said, I'm gra- I, I, yes. I, yep. I, I can't, I, it's crazy that I yeah. want it. I want it. Like when I'm yes. working on myself, I'm working on my project. And I'm yeah. just, I wish Leora was here. She could just tell me, yes, like you can do it. Yes. And then, well, take those vo- take that, take her voice and almost record it in your head. And when you, that, that's the goal is to have her voice ping ponging in your head and potentially it becoming your voice that I, even when I notice I'm being reactive and I, I want to encourage myself, I want to feel great. And then I feel like I stink. I'm horrible. I'll never do this. Let me consciously choose Leora's words because, and knowing Leora, that was her like yelling and screaming of you're amazing. You're wonderful. That's her. And can you allow that choose to allow that to ping pong in your head? And at this, and then eventually it becomes your voice that whenever you need it, I am amazing. I am wonderful. And that you can ask for that from her whenever you need it. Right. And in my, in my mind now, the way yeah. I guess the, the unhealthiness, the way it works is it's like you now the moment right now in my head I'm saying, Oh, I'm amazing, I'm wonderful, I'm doing great things. Immediately the next voice that comes in is says, You're you're such a uh, arrogant person. And Absolutely. Like yep. for you to think that. Yes. Yep. And that that's a whole nother that's a yeah. It's called our denied selves. So it seems that we need to try to bring this to a close. Um, um, so in turn, do you want me to bring it to a close? I, I want to try to remember what uh, Igor was saying last. The last thing um, I think what he was saying is that, so that on the one hand, I want um, I want so much that um, I, I want so much to receive from you these words of affirmation. And on the other hand, um, I have all these thoughts in my mind of how I don't deserve, um, or I'm still, I'm still, I'm not good enough. Um, so, Mira, that would be our please. When you, when you hear, when you hear my encouragement and my appreciation for you, you. Um, you want to receive it and you want it, you notice how you want it, but you also are noticing how you almost want to reject it and, and how you are feeling like I'm not really good enough. That's not really, I, I'm not, I'm not really good enough to, for someone to say that about me or, um, I don't deserve, I don't deserve that. Um, Am I getting you? Am I getting you? Yes. Is there one last thing that you want to share, Igor? No, I'm, and I'm just thinking about throughout our, throughout our relationship, whenever either you or other people, they told me, oh, oh, you did that? Oh, that's great. Or, oh, wow, like, you know, that's such a nice thing. It could be something big or something small. But the, the first oh, thought in my mind is I reject. I reject it. And I say, oh, it was nothing. Oh, no, no, it didn't mean anything. Like, oh, oh, no big deal. Mm-hmm. And, and and I see that where that's coming from is I can't accept. Mm-hmm. Not, I just say I, I want I want to be acknowledged and encouraged, and at the same time, I, I, I have a hard time accepting. Well, it's so unfamiliar. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you hear that? With the feeling of I've done something special, or I've done something that matters. I, I struggle with being able to hold that feeling. It's uncomfortable, try to bear. it's uncomfortable for you and you struggle with the feeling of, that you're special and that you deserve um, um, people to tell you um, positive things about, about yourself. I don't like when people recognize or acknowledge me for having done something. You want to say it's nothing. Yes. And so as we're coming towards the end, um, in terms of partner responsibility, what I would love after this session is 
that Leora, you are aware that this is a gift that when you feel it, to give it to him, knowing that he may not accept it easily because it's so foreign to him because his felt experience is, you know, I only receive negative feedback, you know, I'll, I'll never make it, I'm going to be a failure. So for when you feel that you can give that gift to him of words of affirmation to give it to him, and the other 50% is Igor, if you notice that you're needing that, to ask if Leora is available. And so each of you are responsible, not one or the other, that both of you take that. So Leora, what are you feeling or thinking as we're coming to the end of our session today? I'm feeling like I would like to uh, to remember and and to, to give words of affirmation. So try look at Igor and tell him that. Um, thinking and feeling is how much I would like to um, continuously uh, give you words of encouragement. And Igor, what I'm thinking or feeling as we're coming to the end of our session today is? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thinking and feeling about like what, what a positive role you play in my life and how much of, how much your words now you know, mean more to me than any other person. And so I, I look for like I look to you and I like I, I feel that I'm seeking out like that affirmation from you. So Leora, if you could say thank you for sharing. <laughs> okay. It's all right. It's all good. You could say thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Igor, thank you for listening. Okay, so we'll stop I, here. Yeah, we're just okay. I, I know we didn't, um, so we could just keep going and going. But uh -huh. you could. as I was talking, I was, I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> as I was talking, I was thinking. And I was actually thinking about what we started the session with, the, mm -hmm. that initial appreciation I expressed yes. to you, Laura. Yep. Um, it just occurred to me that when I have a hard time with our kids, um, there are times, not all the time, but there are times that I think I'm triggered by the way my father dealt with us in a very rigid way. So I have a hard time. Like I, I, I kind of tighten up, I think maybe because I'm taken to my own childhood. But the next thing is when I said to you that I, for some reason, I feel soothed watching you be calm. Yes. Like you're, you're calm in those moments. And for some reason, I just see you and you're calm. And I start coming down from my tension. And I think I think that part of what that has to do with is you provide for me this like a contradistinction distinction from what it was like for me growing up and seeing you come. Like I, I almost like feel like, oh, it's gonna be okay. It doesn't have to end with discipline and shouting and just seeing you come like soothes those, those, I guess, my own childhood. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Can you validate some of that, Leora? And I know it's hard to have a kid on your lap, so you might not be able, does that make sense to you? Yeah, Can you validate that for him? I feel like sometimes when, when you're, um, when, when you're feeling, um, like, like when you're getting angry at, at the kid, um, that, that it's being triggered by your um, your experience as a child and being disciplined harshly. And then w when if I, when I say calm, it feels very safe and, and, and it's soothing those childhood wounds by, um, by experiencing how it doesn't have to end in harsh discipline um, and we, we can resolve things calmly and lovingly. Am I getting you? Yes. Ask one more if there is more. Is there more? No, so I, ju I just want you to know that, um, like now, you know, until this- It all makes sense. It all makes sense because until this conversation, 
I, I would imagine it'd be easier to take for granted for you, like, okay, um, you know, my, my partner is upset right now with the kids, um, but I'll, I'll choose to stay calm. I want you to know that yeah. it's not like that. It's you staying calm actually has a, a, a tremendous positive benefit for me because it helps me see that there's a different way in that, mm -hmm. that it doesn't have only have to be the way I saw in my house when I was growing up, that th there's a different way to handle it and, it, and it's a better way. Mm -hmm. So like you, you have, I want you to know that you have um, such power, such powerful impact on me, especially in those moments. And I appreciate very much that you, that you stay calm and, you, and therefore you're able to offer um, that comfort to me. Last one, Leora. So what I heard you say is? You want me to know how, how I shouldn't take for granted that I shouldn't feel just like, oh, um, my husband's um, upset and I'm staying calm. I choose to stay calm, but it's also what an impact I'm having on you. Um, I, should, I should appreciate that. Am I getting you? Yes. And this is what more perfect example of your kid coming in in the middle of a, you know, video recording and you were so calm and cool and, you know, you weren't reactive and what are you doing? You know, so that's, uh, there it is right there. So that's pretty amazing. You were just very calm and it was almost, you didn't know something was happening. So pretty amazing. And Igor to receive that, that, oh my goodness, look, she's so different than my felt experience as a kid of this negativity and criticism and how wonderful that is. So thank you so, so, so much for letting me be a part of this.